Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all they vast array. By the seventy seventy days God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventy day he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventy day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creation creating that he had done Adam and Eve this is account of the heavens and the earth when they were created when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens no no shrub had yet appeared on the earth and no plant had yet sprung up from the lord god had not sent rain on the earth and there was not one to work the ground but streams come up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground them the lord god formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being now the god had planted a garden in the east in eden and there he put the man he had formed the lord god made all kinds of the tree grow out of the ground trees that were pleasant to the eye on good for food in the middle of the garden were were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of god and evil a river watering the garden flowed to from eden from there it was separated it for herd waters the name of the first is the pishon it the wind strode the entire land of avila where there is gold the gold of that land is good aromatic resin and onyx are also there the name of the second river is the jihon it went through the entire land of kush the name of the third river is the tigers it runs along the east side of ashur and the fourth river is the euphrates the lord god talking the man and put him in the garden of eden to work it and take care of it and the lord god commanded the man you are free to eat from any tree in the garden but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of god and of you for when you eat from it you will certainly die The Lord God said it's not good for the man to be alone I will make a, a helper suitable for him Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the we wild animals and all the bird in the sky He brought them the man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature that was its name so the man gave names to all the livestock the bird and the sky and all the wild animals but the adam no suitable helper was found so the lord god caused the man to fall into a deep sleep and while he was sleeping he took one of the men ribs and then 
closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the ribs. He had taken out of the man and they brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That's it's why a man leaving his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame.